Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Satisfactory where I've done a little bit of work off camera but not much to be honest with you. Uh, we unlocked the assemblers so now we have got very slowly... Uh, we've got reinforced iron plates coming in from the assembler. Okay, so again, all we've done here, this is getting a little bit messy, but there are conveyor belt options later on that we can tidy up a little bit. But for now, at least, we now have the uh, the reinforced plates coming up to our storage block. So that's worked out pretty well. Uh, also, I've um, moved over a crafting bench and the, uh, the equipment workshop over here, and then I've moved the hub up to here as well, just on its own little platform, just to start to get everything a little bit more sort of set in place. Again, chances are this whole thing gets ripped out eventually when we do a larger storage unit, but for now, at least, um, it's bringing in everything we need. Uh, the next things are rotors and uh, modular frames, okay, so we'll maybe look at automating them. We've got uh, an iron there, and there's another two over there as well, so there's plenty of scope still in this area uh, to get things developed. But before we can uh, really push forward, we need to get our space elevator up and Running. So we're going to get all the stuff we need for that, which I think we should be able to do pretty easily, although our bags are pretty full, but we don't need screws, and for some reason we've got a million bajillion screws on us. I have absolutely no idea why all those are there. There we go. Okay. So we need some concrete. Uh, not much. 21 will do. There we go. We need some rods. Uh, a few rods. We're going to struggle to stack all these up, I think. There we go. We can get rid of you for now. But we can get rid of another stack for you now. There we go. And then some oh, wire. And again, we should have loads of wire. Oh, not as much as I thought, actually. But we have enough. There we go. So we've got everything we need to the space elevator. Again, uh, location now is going to be probably temporary. I'm just going to get it in and working so we can open up the next tier. Maybe up there might be quite cool, though. Um up on that hill there. I don't know whether or not... Because at the moment we're going to be hand-delivering stuff. So we just kind of need it. Or, or maybe actually over here. There's a nice big open area here. Um, oh, no, go on. We'll stick it, we'll stick it over here. Or, or is that just... No, no, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Because that's nowhere near where we're working. Oh, what about up on here then? Okay, that one. Because we can get to this one pretty easily. This little plateau here. Um, so we'll we'll stick it up here because you want it to look, you know, monumental, don't you? There we go. Invalid aim location. I know. Oh, the the floor might not be any good here. Oh no no no! It seems like it might. Big problem is you, it's difficult to build up into something. So what we're going to have to do actually is build down. Now I understand the player is in the way because I am the player. There we go. Something like that. Um, there are two points of entry, so we'll put those both over there. And then, boom, we'll put you down and see what you look like. You're going to be a little bit funkily mounted, but I think actually from down here, we've got access to them relatively easily. But also, let's be honest, geekism's all about stuff just looking good, you know? Yeah, look at that up on the hill, mighty hill. There we go. Now our little spaceship's going to come down. And stick its end inside us. I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. Moving on. Uh, yeah, and then that's going to open up tier three and four, I believe now, um, because this is a full. Uh, this is the full early access release I'm playing here. Thank you incredibly to the devs for letting me uh, get hold of it a little bit early, so I can get some stuff ready for you, lovely folks. There we go. And just the tip. There we go. Okay, so that's all set up and running. I've got a feeling that the first thing we need to give that is like rotors and stuff, but more importantly what it does is unlock the next tier on our um, on our workshop because I really today want to get coal up and running or at least the beginnings of a coal system up and running because uh, I'm getting fed up having to go around and chop, chopping down trees all the time, I'd rather, there we go, oh no we have to actually complete the elevator phase one, okay, so Let's go and have a look at it. If I remember rightly, it was it was reinforced steel and rotors. Unless it's changed from the early access weekend, it was a reinforced steel and rotors. Uh, rotors are pretty easy. They're only rods and screws, so we can knock those out pretty swift. Let's have a look. 
Uh, rotors and reinforced steel. Yeah, nice. That will unlock tier 3 and 4. Okay. Um, reinforced steel... Uh, reinforced iron, sorry. I keep saying steel, but steel is a later development. This is this is iron. I apologise for that. Let's... Um, Let's see what we've got in storage. To be honest with you, I'm still at the point now where it's easier to go and grab some iron ore and knock these out myself, to be honest with you. We're, we're, we're producing them, but it ain't, they ain't coming in quick. Look, 24. Okay. Um, I completely forgot already how many it said I needed. But if we just make a load up, then that's fine. So we have got some, st some plaques here. Uh, we need some screws for those. We also need loads of screws for the rotors, so I'm going to take a good pile of those. And the rods as well. Again, take a few stacks of those. Um, and let's go and craft some rotors and s plates. Okay, I actually thought it was 75 rotors, but it's not. It's only 50. That's good. We've got those and we've got those. Unavailable in early access, it's telling me, but I don't think that's right. Because we did this in the uh, Alpha weekend. Boom. There we go. Ah, now we've got a bit of an animation. So we didn't get that last time, did we? Just kind of... Whee! Yeah, that's ace. Oh, it's very satisfying when something happens. Okay, so next stage is motors and modular frames. Okay, we're a little... Uh, we're a little way off that, I think. But more importantly than getting those sent up, uh, as I say, that should give us the ability to start researching coal production. Oh, we've just ran out of power. Surprisingly, the coal stuff doesn't take too much. I think I've got everything we need. Uh, talking of power, I did say I was going to do an automated power line. I've actually did it separately. I thought it'd be an interesting thing for a bit of a tutorial video because um, I know it's probably something that maybe um, gives a good explanation of some simple sort of setups and stuff. So we've got one here that takes grass and one here that takes wood. And then they both get produced into biomass, which then goes into this one that produces it into biofuel that throws... Uh, lovely biofuel into here. So look at this. People moaning that they've not got fuel at all. You know, just uh, just spend a bit of time spending one of those out. Now the big problem is find out which one's ran out. It's this one here. Look. Yeah, here we go. Get yourself some lovely fuel in there, my friends. Uh, oh, we're still peeking. So somebody else has run out as well. It must be... You're not red. You're not flashing red, right? Or you, I mean, you're close, so you might as well get stocked up. There we go. It must be one of our uh, little chappies over here that I've also put some power slugs into as well. We've got the ability to turn power slugs into... Yeah, there we go. Uh, take that for now. I'll get some else in a moment. Uh, oh, you've run out too. My word. Okay, it's all right. Luckily, as I said, we've got, um, we've got a good setup for the stuff here now. So we can really fill these up and have no major issues. There we go. And then we'll fill you up while we're here. Good. I think we might as well fill them all up. And then it's something we haven't got to worry about until hopefully we've, um, we're have we working with coal. Who knows? Let's have a look. Uh, what's this one got in it? So 58. Might as well fill you up. Uh, you're full. So, oops, it's just this one over here then. We've got five. Oh, and you're full as well. Look at that. We're actually ahead of ourselves. Okay, good. So pretty much all that fuel is done. All I'm going to have to do now is come over here and drop all this in for coal. So cables, uh, wire, rotors or motors, I forget which one it is, and then some reinforced 15. We need 10 of those. That's fine. We can smash those out super quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. And then throw them in there. Launch that bad boy off. Okay, coal power milestone unlocked. Good. Transportation as well as the construction of outposts is now um, Coal is. Explore and exploit pillar as recommended. Yes. Coal is 125 percent more efficient than biomass. Yes, can and can be automated. That's the big thing. So first of all, a miner. Uh, we need uh, some a little bit of concrete. I'm just going to make sure I've got what we need before we go searching for. Uh, coal. So, here we go. First bits, first things first. Take some of that with us. And could, we can make a tractor now as well. Is it worth making a tractor to find what we need? We need some beacons for that, which we haven't made yet. Um, but we can. Sorry, they're over here. 
Remind me what beacons need. Not much. There we go. We need five beacons, so we'll make the five. That was la that was lucky, wasn't it? There we go. Uh, vehicles, beacons, and ten. Are they motors or rotors? Kind of had a slight loss as to which one's which because they look very similar. Um, they're rotors. Okay, we need ten of those. That should get us pretty much. This is we are now back up to roughly where we were during the early access weekend. So that's good. That's good. We could do a tractor now. Let's put. I don't know whether it will fit through there. I built this with a view for it to fit through there. Shall we? Shall we see if it does? There we go. Uh, drive. We have to put some fuel in it. Let's uh, come around here to put some fuel in it. For now, it'll have to be biofuel. Uh, oops, here vehicle. There you go. Uh, and then we can dry the tractor. We haven't found any coal yet. Okay. Let's see. Can we get out of here? I, don't know, I hope we can. Oh, that's just my bad driving. Ah! Yeah. Oh, look at that. The little aerial even wobbles as well. Okay. So now what we need to do is open up this and uh, no, not that. I thought I thought it was. Oh, is that a different menu? Once we're once we're in a vehicle. Yes, that's what I want. Coal. Please don't be miles away. It's miles away. Oh my god. 569 meters. That's not too bad. Okay, let's head out and see if we can find it. And there's some 1,000 meters that way. Okay, we're definitely going to go for the 500 meters. Okay. Um, oh, oh, oh. We're not going to be able to go through there because of our conveyor belts. Oh, and there's more somewhere else. Where was that one? I definitely think the 500 meter job is the one to go for. We have to go up and over. Because the um, what we're going to try and do today is not only get over to the coal and get it mining, I want to try and set up this vehicle to be automated, fetching it there and back. Okay, so this is fun. Our nearest coal deposit is... Um, is over there. <laughs> Which I believe is an island. I don't think there's a way... Yeah... It's, a, it's an island, or at least it's very difficult to find the bottom of it. So, do we go to a further away one, or do we try and build a bridge across? I mean, either is possible. There's a green slug up there as well, which would be quite handy. Maybe from there, because we've got... This is our copper here. That's our copper deposit. So that's not a million miles for us. If we can get a bridge across to there, huh, I think it's probably doable and still easier than... Um, than, than going out over double the distance, really. Okay, here it is, I think. I think we've just got to get across from here to over there. I think that's uh, that's pretty doable. So let's dump you down there a minute, and let's have a look at some foundations. I'm guessing these, these thinner foundations are the way to go. Uh, as long as... I mean, really, we need to make sure they're pointing the, not only in the right direction, like there, I guess. Is that a good start? Now, the big question is, the, can I just keep doing these off each other? Or will we eventually need support? So far, so far we're doing okay. I mean, it's, it's, ooh, it's a bit scary. We'll have to go back for some more concrete. But otherwise, I think we're... Probably doing okay. To be honest, this this I was going to set up a vehicle run, but this isn't that far for uh, to sort out a conveyor belt. I don't think. Now we need to start bringing it down via a ramp. So let's do that. Uh, okay, we're on the ground. Let's uh, let's finish this off with a foundation. Um. Uh, another ramp and we'll just need one more so if it was just me I'd deal with that but because we're going to want to put vehicles on here it really needs to be super flat okay so that is 
pretty good. We'll make it twice wide as well, I think, just to give us a bit of leeway. So first things first, let's go and grab that sluggy over here. Because they're really good for boosting up your biomass burners. And eventually coal, I imagine. Oh, a yellow one. Nice. Sorry, I can't tell the colours between green and yellow. Uh, I think that means you're even better than yellow. So, let's have a look. We've got to get down to here. Make sure there's no smelly, pumpy bits. Because there were smelly, pumpy bits in other places. Let's just drop down. I'm, pretty, I'm sure I've got this right. I'm, my map reading skills aren't particularly impressive. But I'm pretty sure... Boom. Our coal is down there. Wow. It's uh, it's tricky. We've got a bad guy. We've got two bad guys. We've got two pretty intense bad guys, actually. And one of those, um, one of those plants that, that pumps out the, uh, the little bugs. So I think we probably stay clear of them by going this way. Oh, it's going to be tough, this. Let's have a look. So, I mean, we don't have to get the vehicle down there necessarily. We can we can mine up to a conveyor belt to like here, you know, and that that would be relatively acceptable. I think we can mine up to here. Um, conveyor belts running down here shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's just kind of getting back up here, isn't it? There's no real easy way up or down. Until we've got a conveyor belt. Let's make sure we've got enough to do some conveyor belts with. Uh, yeah, we have. So I reckon we go for it. Take a bit of damage. Oh, no. All right. Don't take any damage. Okay. Uh, minor mark one. Get it on there and get it pointing this way. See, we've got to get power over to here as well, thinking about it. Okay. Because you're not going to do anything like that, are you? But... But, 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 all we need you to do... Go on, go on. Valley down location. We just need to get you up to there. Um, tell you what, let's do it manually with one of these bad boys. There we go. That's no good. You're, you're, uh, you're too far away now. Too close even to that. We need to go for more like here. There we go. Just realised we've got not much concrete left on us. Oh, we literally need one concrete just to do that. Uh, ooh, I know. Are we stuck down here now? I think we're going to have to face the music and head over. There's a guy over that way. It's getting back up again. He's going to be the problem. Over here, can we do it? Yeah, okay, there is a way up. I'll take those pale berries, thank you. Okay, there was a way up, good. And then back up here. So I definitely that's the way to do it. Let's try and get... And like I say, I was going to look at getting a vehicle uh, running, but I think actually it's not, it's not too far to run conveyor belts. Okay, actually, yeah, it's far too far to uh, to run conveyor belts, but <laughs> we still need to get conveyor belts up to here so that our uh, our little dude can get hold of them. Now, can we reach from here? Oh, we can. Lovely. No, other side. There you go. And then from you up to here. Let's get you on there to so first start off with. Okay. It's funky, but it works. And then we need to do one more, I think, up to there to make this really... Um, the best for the vehicle. Okay, so coal up to here. Good. Uh, now what I'm going to do is we need to put down a truck station. Do we have what we need? No, we need some rotors and some modular frames. Okay, so how these work is then they take in whatever gets pushed into them and then they will drop whatever's in them onto a vehicle that sits underneath them. So what you do is you set one of these up at one end, one of them up at the other end. You set one of them to be loading and one of them to be unloading and then you drive your tractor between the two whilst recording the tractor's path and then you can get out send him on his way and he carries on going um luckily because we're moving coal here it's even easier because um they will automatically fill up the tractor with fuel first so he'll always have fuel on him and then whatever's left uh, he'll have as a um uh, as coal coming into the uh, into the unit into the building so 
Uh, we need some. We're going to have two of these, so we need to go and get some frames and some rotors, and then we'll look at doing this. Uh, look at setting this vehicle route up. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Because at the moment we've got this big old copper uh, route that basically cuts off this peninsula, which is what we need to get over here. So um, I can't think of a simple way for the vehicle to get past this line, basically. So at the moment, the vehicle can get to here pretty easily, but this is quite a big open space. There's a couple of iron deposits that we can use, but over here, that goes a little bit over there as well. Loads of space. So I'm thinking we actually set up our coal generators up here, um, and then a little wire will just basically pop off the edge of here down into the system and, and power it all up, and then we can clean up those biogenerators over there. So... I think that's um, that's what we're going to do. So first of all, we'll go and set up a truck stop towards the uh, coal, where the coal's coming in. I still feel like I want to double this up as well, so as that it's not really super thin, because <laughs> I'd be a little bit worried that we fall off the edge. Because that's the kind of thing we do here. So yeah, I'm going to set up a truck stop. I realise I should probably be driving the truck, but it's okay. It's okay. It gets rid of all these, so we can get through here quite easily. You want to try and find a quite a clear run path, you know, so that it's not too extreme. Okay, so here's the conveyor belt. So we can, if we build the thing here, gives us a bit of maneuvering room. Truck station. Here we go. It's quite a big. Oh, it's a bit bigger than I thought actually. So here's where we we drive up to where this crate is here, where the crane is. Excuse me. So we'll pop you there. And that's that done. Okay, and then we can run this conveyor belt from you into you. Now, we've got multiple points. Now, that's just for fuel if you're using this to run other things, okay? But I think we can just run it straight into here because we're only going to have fuel in it, right? Let's have a look. Fuel. Yeah, look, there's fuel. Um, so we're going to be... We're going to be loading here. Loading. Okay, so we load here, right, and then the other one we're going to put on the other side of this hill to drop the coal off. And I mean, you could you could do conveyor belts, but one, it isn't very elegant, and two, you know, you want to kind of see the new systems, don't you? You want to kind of see the new uh, the new processes in place, see what's going on, figure stuff out, make sure it's all uh, it's all fun and games. So we're going to come right across here, and we're going to have our second truck stop, I think, just here on this flat section uh, here. Okay, so truck station, uh, basically here, but 90 degrees around. There we go. Not too close to that iron because we probably will want to use that at some point. Boom. Okay. Now the tricky bit in all of this is we need to get it powered. So have we got loads of powering stuff? No, we need loads of wire. Okay, we're powered. I think. Are we producing coal? Yeah, looks like we're getting started. Okay. Nice. Can't get it out of the conveyor belt quick enough. That's good. Okay, so that's going to come up to here through this funky conveyor belt and into that, right? I hope. Then we need to set up our little buggy to take it from one end to the other. Then we set up an actual coal generator. What do they need? Power. Let's have a look. Coal generator. Uh, oh, not so much, actually. Just a few frames and a few rotors. That's very manageable. Okay, so I reckon we get, like, we just go for three of them straight away. Does it tell us how much power it makes? It makes 50 power. Um, with five biogenerators, we're currently making 100. So we knock three of these out. We've, we, you know, with 33% increased, uh, increased our thing. Okay. Oh, man. Do we, do we build a second run? Yeah, yeah, we do. I'm gonna... <laughs> That's gonna fall off. Okay, let's come off here. Let's build. Let's make this a little bit wider, and then we'll try it. <laughs> okay, here we go. I feel much safer about that now. So we're gonna actually start on here, so we know roughly where we've got to get back to. So we hold down C, and we press start recording, and it's now recording. So now we drive, 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 drive. We drive down the ramp. We come right in between this tree and this rock that we'll actually... Oh, the tree goes, okay. 
Okay. And then we come pull up into here and wait. And then there you go. Look, there comes the, the things. We're not we're not full on, but it works, right? And then we carry on off. We go back here. Let's see the arrows. Oh, oh, oh! We hope that rock doesn't bother us. Okay. What do I hit? Now, what it does, it places down these waypoints, and it's the waypoints it actually hits. So you haven't got to be perfect with your run. All we're gonna do is come around here and wait again. Oh, that one's loading off. Okay. So we need to turn that to unload. But it doesn't matter. The vehicle doesn't care. The vehicle will still do the correct run, right? And not not die. So we start just before the last one, and then we click finish recording. Oh, no. Did I just lose that? I just lost all of that. Okay, uh... Let me just, uh, let me just check that out. Hold on. Are you just going to sit there a minute? Completely messed that up. But it was, yeah, we just got like one little arrow there, look. <laughs> but for now, let's, um, let's set this to unload so we know that's the right way, okay? Uh, you're unloading. And then also, while we're here, have I got any fuel on me? No. I was going to say, I was going to chuck down, cut down that tree. But if I've got nothing on me to do it with, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's try that again. Um, you just have to hover over the thing and let go. Okay. So, drive tractor. Here we go. Oh, my God. Drive tractor. So, C. Start recording, then let go rather than clicking it. Okay, so here we go. We're off. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay. We're going to come through these rocks. We're going to come round like this. And we're going to stop. We're going to hold here. Give it a bit of time to make sure it's done what it needs to do. Come around this big old tree. Back through these rocks again. Across the bridge. Okay. Round the tree. Round the tree that we will get rid of just to be sure, but for now, round the tree. Hold there. And then on our way again. This time we'll dodge the rocks just because we can. And then we get to about here and finish recording so now we can enable autopilot get out Okay, so I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what just happened then. Uh, the thing fell off the, the bridge. <laughs> I had a bit of a laughing fit. And then my phone rang. Um, and it was the um, the letting agent. Because we're, we're, once we move, we're, we're letting our house out. So, And I've come back and it was a blank screen. So I've had to click the uh, the respawn option here to, to get back. So I've got nothing on me. Uh, lost all my stuff. I can only assume that that pissing thing has knocked me off the bridge. Let's get up here and have a little look at what's happened. Let's see if anything's still going. Right. So, is there any? If is the coal sat in here? Okay. All right. There's coal sat in there, so something's worked. Okay. 
Oh, that was a bit weird. He's absolutely bombing it there. So, okay, here's a little tip for you. Keep the hell out of the way of that thing, because I'm pretty sure it knocked me off. Now, unfortunately, that means I've lost everything I had on me. It was only some supplies, so that wasn't a major problem. But I did lose, uh, it means I've lost my chainsaw and my little uh, widget shooty thing. I think it knocked me off down there, you know. I think that's what happened. But it seems to be working. Let's uh, let's have a look. Let's get over here. Make sure it's not coming to absolutely wipe me out again. <laughs> I like the fact that it keeps the arrows there. It's almost like a warning. Something. I can hear it. No, I can't. It's coming across the bridge. Is it? Uh, so it holds there where I where I held. Okay, that's fine. But otherwise. It looks like it's smashing it. I want to see that. See if there's if there's coal in here, and if so, how much, and if so, if it picks it all up. Okay, so let's have a look. There's a hundred and yeah. Okay. Yeah, hundred and twenty coal. So do you drive off now, do you? With your hundred and twenty coal in you? Oh, loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it, and uh, and it, it comes up here. So it's sitting, so it's filling up quite nicely actually. It gets about a hundred and hundred and so in there each trip. That's pretty good. Again, like I say, it could um, it could have been done with conveyor belts, but that was much more fun, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get up here then and have a look at setting up an actual coal generator or a few coal generators up on the hill here, so we can really make the most of this new system. Because at the moment it's um, you know, it's just for fun. What that little bit, weird bit of coal shooting we get occasionally? Because the, because the, what's going to happen is this is just going to fill up. Yeah, this is just going to absolutely fill up with coal. Let's have a look. Yeah, look, see, there we go. It's got loads of storage for stuff, but that's just going to keep filling up. Um, oh, cable there. That's a bit messy, isn't it? We could probably do that better. I don't like that when the cable uh, peaks. We haven't got anything we need because we dropped it all into the abyss. Okay, we've got everything we need to make three coal generators. Now, whether or not the setup we've got at the moment is enough to supply three coal generators with, with enough coal that they need, you know, that's going to be a question. But for now, at least, we can place them down, get one of them up and running, because it's literally a conveyor belt from this thing into it, basically. But I think it's going to be interesting to see uh, how how sort of how much this actually supplies. So, coal generators, it's going to be massive, isn't it? Yeah, look at the size of it. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can level it out a little. I mean, I, oh, it's not a very flat area, is it? But, oh, 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 here's quite flat. Should we line them up here? Floor's too sleep. No, it isn't. Oh, we're getting close to the run there it's doing. So, okay. One there. One next here. It's telling me the floor's too sleep. I'm disagreeing with it. That floor is not too sleep. Look at what I mean. Literally, just sit next to it. Look. But here, where is it? There, it's fine. He's telling me. All right. Well, apologies if it's going to wind you up. That they're wow, that's huge, aren't they? Apologies if it's going to wind you up. That they're not quite perfect. Uh, so, conveyor belt. In. That should just start pumping out coal into this thing. Configure coal generator. Okay. Seems like it's making fuel. Right, where's the where's the cable? Is it over this side, is it? Oh my god, how close we are to the edge there. Ooh, um Okay. Where's the actual cable connector? Oh yeah, it's right over there, look. Boo. Um, okay. What I want to do then is... Bring a power pole. That one there needs to change, because I don't like how it's going. In fact, we can, we can redo it from about here, I think. So, one there. 
Oh god, John. So whose idea is it to put it like this? Um okay, one there. So one, two, three. Okay. This will this will do all of these. One. Two. We can just do it around the back here and ignore the fact that the wires are clipping through everything. Three. Come to here. Come to Where's that one coming up to that's rubbish here? To here. Okay, and then we get rid of that cable. And instead, we'll link that one up to there. And this one. To here. Okay. And that should give us, yeah, look at that, capacity, 178. Now, at the moment, this thing ain't uh, ain't been able to put it out quick enough. So, can we now do another one? Ah, no, it's, a, it's an inny and an outy. Okay, so we have to, we're going to have to split this outy then. Uh, let's see what, I bet we haven't got what we need for a splitter. Uh, logistics, conveyor splitter. Oh, we have. Nice. Okay. Um, this is all probably a little close to each other, but we're going to have to try and make it work. Let's put you... There. Alright, get rid of you. Okay, so... In. Out. Out. Do we go for the triple? Do we go for the triple? The problem is, is we is running out here. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. <laughs> so whether or not these are funneling in quick enough, let's have a look. Three. I, do you know what? I think we're cooking on gas. Well, cooking on coal, I suppose. But look at that. This little setup here. I don't think we're going to have a problem there. I mean, we'll have to come and keep an eye on it long term. But I think... I think we're on to a bit of a winner winner chicken dinner. Uh, what I was thinking was eventually I'd like the, that base to come up here and then conveyor belts, um, sorry, walkways even running across to here and across here. So at a glance we can get across everything rather than having to sort of dive over conveyor belts and stuff but I think that is I think we're I think we're laughing there so let's just have another look at electricity uh, we're now making 278 right so what we're gonna do now then is we're gonna come and completely dismantle the last the last sort of bastion of this old original base unit here the reason why we're struggling to finish off this here is this system so what we're gonna do is completely Abandon it. We're gonna take it all down. We're gonna take. We're gonna keep the biofuel coming in because it's. We've got two on there that we're always gonna use. So there's no reason why we shouldn't. Okay. Let's just double check before we do anything else. Are we still making more than enough? We're making 218. Okay. So now I want to make sure we don't get rid of all of the. We should be able to get rid of all of this cabling, shouldn't we? Because the cabling for this thing, does it go around the back here? One, two, three. What we need to do, what we need to do is join, if we join this up from here, coming down this way, um, over to here somewhere, there, that'll do, there. And we leave them running over there to concrete, because concrete's important. We should, I think, be able to take off that and take out, I'm thinking, all of this. I, this bio um, this bio setup we've got, we need to remove, move, basically, because it's a bit of a random spot now. But we can do that. We can set it all up over, over the back here and have biofuel coming in over there or something. That'd be quite neat, wouldn't it? Yeah, we could do that. No problem. But otherwise, I think we're we're laughing. Look at that. We've got coal on up on the hill. 
Coal up on the hill. Yeah, I think that was a good move. Okay, next episode, we're going to try, uh, or we're going to look at least, uh, at automating a couple more of uh, the next level processes. So we need to automate uh, modular flames and rotors, basically. They're the, they're the next two. Now we've got loads of energy coming in. Uh, and it's automated. We haven't got to run around grabbing leaves and stuff all the time. I'm gonna, like I say, I'll keep this set up because um, you do kind of grab leaves and stuff as you go. So it'd be silly not to just have it set up over there to make some use of it. Um, as long as the storage comes to, I mean, we could even bring the storage right to here, couldn't we? Above this conveyor belt, we could have the storage um, just like right there, and we could just like throw it straight into these because these are always here. There's nothing you can do about them. So, we might as well have the setup there for the uh, for the early procedure of them, I guess. But until then, if we look in here, how much have we got? Oh, look, there's about 280 in here, so we can go and fill this thing up. And also, it's you know, it's used for chainsaws. Um, there's probably other stuff it's it's used for as well. So biofuel, even though we're kind of past it a little. It's still going to be something that we uh, we keep our eye on. Have we just randomly got some coal there? We randomly picked up some coal when we were moving a conveyor belt, I guess. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Cooking on coal, lovely stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John D. Sparrow. Doesn't sound like much is going on over here. Did we actually cut you off? We did. We cut all of you off. Okay, we can we can wire it back up. We can fix it. This whole unit here needs powering from somewhere. Okay. Just for now. Just for now. Good stuff. There we go. Right. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you give us a like. It really helps out. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, suggestions, pop them down in the comments. Fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.